Hello everyone, welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. I've been out here since 9 o'clock this morning, stripping the roof, trying to get this metal up. I figured I'd show you, uh, I think a safer way of doing this. You guys let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you. And share with your friends. So, uh, I got an articulating ladder. It folds in about four different ways. I got it strapped to the inside of the basket so it don't kick off and send me flying. Because trust me, I don't like sliding. So, let's get you over here and um, I got one panel up, clamped to the roof. My drills up in the basket so I'm going to screw this thing down part I hate the most climbing this ladder. Not much in the way of space to put my feet on it. Now I got a clamp right here holding this panel in place. Now I know I got a big gap and what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be putting a fourth sheet over this just to keep it from uh, water getting in. Do any reason. Alright. Uh. That makes 
the third sheet I'm putting on the roof today. And you'll see what I mean about how hard it is to get on this thing. my rope off because I gotta reach way over there. I tell you this is unnerving. If I fall it'll be on camera. again. Just in case somebody slips, they can't go too far, trust me. Last weekend, I didn't show it. I slid right down the roof, hanging, down through my back out. Just gotta get a comfortable way here. Through. Okay, it gets scary. Now, I see getting into a place where my panel is split. None of these are going to be in alignment. Just because my boards are all mismatched, so it's not going to be pretty, but it will be functional. Now, when you're tightening the screws, you want to tighten until they swell a little bit. Don't over tighten them. Or you'll tell the washer and the bloody thing will leak. Well, there went one screw. It's all right. Got a whole pocket full. Now I had my cordless drill up here removing screws. The button got caught between the ladder and the deck. Broke it off. Drill still works, but I ain't got no button. I don't know where the button went. It just magically disappeared. Onwards and upwards. And as I go up, I tighten the rope. Now, 
per instructions from the manufacturer, you see me put one screw next to the rip. That's what they say to do. The bottom and the top gets two, four, six, eight. I'm leaving that loose down there because uh, this roof is bowed. So what I want to do when I get to the end, which will be in another week or two, not too sure, it depends on Mother Nature. Um, I'm going to put a straight edge, I'm going to use a uh, cut off wheel in my grinder, and I'm going to cut me a nice straight edge, straight edge. Then the um, closure strips are going to go underneath, and then I'll finish screwing that off. But for right now, I'm just trying to get this roof covered so my stuff will stay dry. All right. in that situation. Always look to see where your boards are. Already drove one screw in, went into nothing. amazing on the amount of rot was on this roof. Yo! Alright, now we have to do double. I gotta be thankful that the ridge cap will cover that. Hard to tell where the wood is. Because this part of the roof I believe was built in 1940. This is 2022. Do the math. The first part was built in 1920. So you got, uh, what do we got? 82 years on this and 102 on that. Honestly, the way they built this thing, I'm surprised it's still standing. Now, those of you probably wondering, where did you get the metal, John? Well, I got it from a local lumber yard. They make their own metal. It was about, I want to say $20 cheaper per 12 foot sheet than it was going to Lowe's or Home Depot. Despite my uh, discount. You go there, you give them your order, you prepay, they call, you go and pick it up. For those of you that watch uh, Tony's Tractor Adventure Homestead, he and I know each other. 
And I asked him, Tony, where'd you get the metal for your uh, sawmill? He goes, well, I want the Paris building supply, Paris, Tennessee. So I went there and checked it out. Prices couldn't be beat. Lumber, I'll stay away from. They're a little too high on the lumber. And metal, you know what the metal price is today. All right. That is um, sheet number six. Two weeks get this far. So, I got a great big gap here. Somehow I miscalculated. I don't know how. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put the next sheet on. I'm going to kind of overlap it, and I'm just going to put a few screws in because I just want to cover this hole. And I got to remember, wherever I screw that thing, it's got to be in the same difference as this. Or I could have a hole that goes nowhere. I don't want that. So, I'm going to come down. You'll see how hard it is for me to get off this ladder. My, my poor toes are hurting. At least this will take a whole weekend. Burn up a circular saw that I absolutely love. Had to use a piece of crap DeWalt that has a worn out shaft bearing. Find it easier to take the belt off than it is to take the whole thing. All right. So. So you can see how much I got done. But anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. I'm not going to show you how I got that thing up there. It's something you really have to concentrate on. I hope you liked the video. hope you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Tell YouTube I'm doing a good job. Because after this, nap time. You all have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you. In the next video, thank you for stopping by Lynn's Homestead.